The story of the king and the falcon. Long time ago, there was a king who kept a falcon in his palace and gave it a lot of attention. Whenever the king went hunting or on a trip, he took his beautiful falcon with him. One day, the falcon decided to go on an adventure anywhere it wanted without the king. It flew out of the palace and went around and around and after some time it became very tired. But the falcon couldn't find anywhere to take rest or have food, so it took refuge at the cottage of an old woman who was baking bread. The falcon landed and sat in front of the door until the old woman noticed it. She opened the door and let the bird in, but then tied its little feet while carefully looking at it and scrutinizing it. The falcon's feathers and wings seemed untidy and long to her. She said, the incompetent people have not taken a good care of you. She shortened the bird's wings and said, your talons have grown too. She cut them too and put some straw for it to eat out of empathy, not knowing anything about falcon's needs. The king's day was spent searching for his dear falcon. At last, he went to the old woman's cottage. He saw his magnificent and beautiful falcon amid smoke and dust with almost no feather and nails. Seeing his falcon in this situation, the king wept and lamented. He told his bird, This is the retribution for your deed, because you were not strong in keeping your faith with me. Why did you escape from the paradise to hell? The bird rubbed his wings on the king's hand and said in a speechless language, I made a mistake and I regret what I did. Although my talons and wings are very short, with your care and kindness, I can surprise the stars with my feathers and move the mountains with my talons. The king accepted the falcon's apology, took it and went back to his palace. Yes, our souls are like the falcon that's trapped in our body. Every moment of our life, we have two choices. Stay with the divine and spiritual existence who knows our soul's needs very well, or choose the worldly values that at the end make us miserable. Thanks for watching this video. If you like to see more of Rumi's stories, make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I'll see you soon.